past week, I've had the chance to learn a lot about love, family, and marriage, which is the reason why we're all here today, to celebrate the brand new family that is Alicia and Sean. It is such a privilege to get to stand up and tell both of you how much I love you, even if I have to do it in front of the rest of you. I'm Tina Fallon, formerly Tino Dwani, so I'm the sister of the bride. She's smart, beautiful, and she has a self-trained voice that is envied by everyone. Alicia has been protecting me since I was born. When I was in the seventh grade, I was threatened by a classmate for making first chair flute and band. <laughs> My older, stronger sister, Alicia, stepped in and the bullying ceased immediately. That's Alicia's strength. I know most of you know the next parts. She met Sean, they fell in love. She became the youngest Bar Association president. And now they embark on a new journey together with their dog butters. Sean's always been the adventurous type. Sean and I first met working together at a Roots Chris Steakhouse in Princeton, New Jersey. After law school, we followed each other down to the Virgin Islands. I helped Sean get his first job, and then Sean helped me join him. I think that we can all agree that the following worked out much better this time. Alicia, our friendship has grown immeasurably since we talk every day. You are one of my closest friends, independent of Sean. So Sean, good luck. You got the strongest one. And also congratulations, because you got the most important thing in life, someone who will fight to the ends for you. Hey, love. Hey. Gorgeous. Wow. You look amazing. So do you. You ready? How are you doing? I'm good. Sean and Alicia, you cannot expect the other to give your life meaning. But being privileged to watch the growth of your relationship over the years, I do not believe that that's something we need to be concerned about. You are two of the most brilliant people I've ever met. You're caring, you're fiercely loyal, and I don't need to be the one to flatter you because you each flatter each other. You each have your own passions, you each have your own individual full and meaningful lives, as well as the one that you share. You complement each other in a profound way, and I am excited and honored and privileged to get to continue to watch that growth. So everyone, please, Raise your glasses to my favorite couple, to their spectacular wedding, to a beautiful marriage, and as Walt Whitman said, that the strongest and sweetest songs are yet to be sung. Congratulations. So now you can stand and tell her to sit on your place because that is a place for the wife. Okay. And when she will sit there, you are married then. 